As Michigan looks to defend its 2017 Big Ten tournament title, the Wolverines head to New York City, having won five consecutive games in seven of their last eight. Michigan head man John Beeline, kind enough to join us before his team heads up to the Big Apple. John, let's start with this current streak. What do you like most about the way your team is playing right now? I think we're growing with our defense, Rick. I think that our kids are, uh, have really done a great job of, of just un understanding our best offense is when we get out in transition. Uh, the only way we can get out in transition if we, is if we can get stops. So our defense is improving. Uh, we're creating some turnovers, but we're really running well, too. So that's a big, that's a big thing for us. One of the biggest reasons that your defense has been so good this year, guys taking on new roles. Duncan Robinson named the sixth man of the year on Monday. His shots have gone away, gone to other players, but he has still been a significant part of your team all year long. How important was his willingness to slightly change his role? This has been huge for us that he was able to do that. Um, he is such a good kid, and he has worked so hard. So it... I'm sure it was difficult for him to start coming off the bench. You know, an 18-year-old is replacing a, 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 a guy that's 22 years old. And at the same time, uh, he's actually been, uh, his stats are incredible as a, at coming off the bench. John, I thought it was really telling when Mo Wagner didn't put up a huge stat line against Maryland, but did so many wonderful things against Bruno Fernando on the defensive end. How much more well-rounded has Mo become this season? Well, I think there's a couple of things. Certainly his defense right now, and we give him help when we think we need to, but he's been do a, doing a great job at just uh, understanding my motor's got to run. I got to be in position early. We call it starting position. I, ha I have to be able to be one step ahead of the ball. And then offensively, I like, like the most right now, is when he's not open or he's double team, he's finding the open man. He used to uh, try to make, he'd, he'd pause a little bit. He wouldn't make these quick one more passes. He'd look for something better. And right now the ball's, he's, the ball's not sticking with him and it's really giving us big baskets. John, everybody gets a couple of days off now after this compressed schedule, but fatigue comes back quickly when you have to play three games in three days or what you guys would be hoping for, four games in four days. How much more of a factor do you think fatigue and then depth will be in this year's tournament in compared to previous seasons? Well, I think last year's uh, t team and what we experienced last year uh, with our plane accident and everything taught us a lot about, yeah, there, there is an element to it, but both teams are tired. And the one with the stronger will sometimes uh, can, can get, to the, get to the end of the game and anything can happen at the end of a game, which happened to us. You bring up prep, and being the five seed brings up an interesting scenario because, correct me if I'm wrong, obviously you have to prepare for both teams that could potentially win on Wednesday night, and I'm assuming you scout ahead as well, hoping you win and knowing that you'd play Nebraska. So is this almost a preview of what your staff would have to do in an NCAA tournament-type setting where you're prepping for one game and then two opponents two days later? Yeah, uh, very similar to it. I, I think the only thing, if you were ever playing the t uh, one of the first four teams, it would be like that. Because you usually have a whole week getting ready for the first game uh, in the NCAA tournament, and then your second game you don't know. Uh, this one, we have a week to get ready, but we don't know who our first one is. Just like if you were, if you were I think it's probably a six seed and you were playing the 11 seed and it was somebody in Dayton. So that, that is difficult for us, but it's also difficult for Illinois, Iowa, and Nebraska. Nebraska is going to get ready for three teams. Iowa, Illinois, I'm sure they're concentrating more on the, th that one game because uh, they know who they're playing. We're, we're trying to get ready for two right now the best we can and, and obviously a little bit of Nebraska. John, you've done wonderful things at Michigan, great things at West Virginia, but your son Patrick just won his second consecutive Coach of the Year award in the NE10. How quickly are you losing coaching bragging rights in the Beeline household? <laughs> No, he was co he was voted coach of the year last year. We ha I have an, a nephew, Billy Beeline, uh, who is a who is a gr great coach at Niagara Community College in uh, in Niagara Fall in the Niagara Falls area. I have two cousins that are coaches, Dave Nowen at Penn State Barron, Joey Nowen down at uh, University of Mobile, and we have an annual award of the uh, the Coach of the Year award uh, in our family. And Patrick won it last year. I think he's going to win it again this year. And I'm sure you are happy to lose in that competition. John Beeline, always great to catch up. Truly appreciate the time. Know you're busy. Look forward to seeing you in New York.
All right. Thank you very much, Rick.